Hi people, how are you going? I'm not going to stay on very long, but I'm just going to make something really, really clear here. I'll just wait for a few more people to come in and come on board. Okay, wait for Facebook or whatever to do its notification thing so that I can see when people are here. Because uh, we have to have a little serious chat here. Okay, so got a couple of people in, got a few people coming in. All right, give it a couple more minutes, people. Because I think I have to say something and it's really pulling punches here. Put it this way. I'll just wait for a few more people to come in. Oh, I haven't been well this afternoon, so I won't be on for very long, but... And hopefully I'll get through this without having to say, see ya, I've got to go real quick. <laughs> Just not very well, okay. But, um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm in the process of going through comments, okay. And um, it's come down to this. If you support getting rid of the cash as debit card, right, but then you come on this page saying that you're going to support Reignite Democracy, Australia One, right? If you're going to vote for Clive Palmer or Craig Kelly or One Nation, why are you on our pages? Because I don't really understand, okay? There's people here that are carrying on like, um, you know, they say, oh... Stop the card. We support Stop the Card. But they want to vote for parties that don't support Stop the Card. Or parties that will give their votes or, put it this way, take votes away from Labour and Greens and progressives to make sure that the LNP stay in power. I don't forget. I don't understand that. So I'm going to kick people off that aren't genuine. Seriously, if you're going to come here and sprout that, you know, you know, oh, you haven't done your research on these new parties and what they stand for, you know, and, well, they're going to bring in a social credit system like China. No, they're not. Where is all this shit coming from? Right? ALP and Liberal have been on authority for decades. One win, one loser. Well, we're a two-party system. That's the way it works. In fact, it's not even a true two-party system because it's corrupted by the fact that the LNP are a coalition. And they have two parties in place. And do you know what? If you split the LNP and the Nationals up as proper parties and not had a coalition, then they wouldn't be in power because the Liberals can never get enough seats by themselves and neither can the Nationals. So we don't have a true two-party system in the first place. But sprouting crap like, we're going to have a social credit system like China. We're going to be taken over by China. I haven't got time for conspiracy theory nuts. I'm sick to death, right, of some of the stuff I'm seeing online from some of these crazy bloody people, right? Australian progressives support us. I know that, Ed Edward. I know that you do, right? Um, Labor, Greens, and progressives, Australian progressives. We <laughs> Everybody else, right? Um, I don't know where they've lost their minds to. They're being sucked into voting for parties that cannot and will not look after them. You know what I mean? You look at Craig Kelly's voting record. Please, somebody, tell me where he, he, he voted for something that was human. <laughs> I mean, they're not even voting to protect water or fresh air or animals or koala habitats. Go and have a look at what Pauline voted, votes for. You know, they're not going to change their spots, people. And to the people that come here keep sprouting about these alternative parties that, you know, yeah, we do need some good independence. And I can tell you now, Tasmania's got one. But he's in Tasmania, Andrew Wilkie. And most people in Tasmania will vote for their Andrew Wilkie. Do you know what I mean? We've got a combination of... ALP are the only ones who can scrap the card if they can get into power because they're the only ones that have got enough seats and enough members to take power. Greens need to be in the Senate. We need Australian progressives in the Senate. We don't need right-wing nutjobs and fascists with their fascist policies. 
sorry, but and then you've got all these people, right? Um, that are following these parties that are running around on, um, what I call pseudo, what do you call it, pseudo law and conspiracy theorists, and it's like, oh my god, right? It's just, it's just crap. I mean, I've got one lady who thinks that Reignite Democracy, who's set up by the Liberal Party of Victoria, by the way, are, are going to save her. Or Australian One, which isn't even, um, what do you got it, um, a registered party as yet, right? You've got Craig Kelly on YouTube. Oh, well, actually, no, you don't have Craig Kelly on YouTube anymore. The adverts have switched to Clive Palmer now, you know what I mean? You know? It's, it's just ridiculous. Shill parties to slide votes away from the progressive parties to make sure that the LNP stays in power. Right? So, if... I know that a lot of my supporters here are very, very staunch supporters. Right? Whether you're Labor, whether you're Greens, whether you're progressives. But I'm just warning the ones that come here and start spouting the rubbish about the other parties and that they're going to give their votes to the other parties. I take that personally, that you're not here, right, to support our cause and stop the card. You're here to promote the other party's rubbish. And I take exception to that. And our platform will not be hijacked by the anti-vaxxers platform. I can guarantee you that. Okay? Because the anti-vaxxers platform and the freedoms have hijacked the genuine right people who cannot have vaccines or have suffered vaccine reactions right you've hijacked and squashed their vote voices over and it's like I, I find that absolutely disgusting you know what I mean because you've made it now that half the country doesn't take anybody seriously and that's not fair on the genuine people right and here we go. Someone's out attacking me. Andy Vax says you've become a joke. Yeah, right, whatever. I've become a joke, have I? Whatever. Whatever. I'm not where were the anti vaxxers when that when this law went through that took real legal protections away from Australian citizens? Where were all those freedom fighters then? They were all busy calling everybody a doll bludger. A parasite, a scrounger. And now all of a sudden they want us, right, to, 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 no, I'm sorry. We're not having our platform hijacked by that lot down there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Reignite democracy can go jump, right? I'm here to stop the card. That's it, right? No, people don't deserve to be forced onto anything, Trina Lee. And guess what? People are not being forced into it. Right, the cashless debit card, people are forced onto it. Mandated in law. Alright? Mandated in law. I'm sorry, you've got the choice. If you are one of the people that can have a vaccine and you choose not to, that is your choice. The people on the cashless debit card never got choice. Never got choice. Alright? And their legal protections, their consumer rights, their privacy rights, their autonomy, their human rights has all been mandated away in law, assented by the Queen, stamp, stamp, gone. Right? I'm sorry, but people who genuinely cannot have a vaccine or have ge people who genuinely have problems with it, their voices are squashed underneath the rabble of the my body my choice i want my freedom me 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 well i'm sorry about i'm over it i'm over it i'm over their selfish attitude right and risking it for everybody else don't want to rush a vaccine trina lee they've been working on this vaccine for 17 years how much more do you want them to pand around it you know sars 2 it's not been rushed. Oh. Whatever. All I know is that there's people here promoting parties that do not promote stopping the card. 
okay so if you call on here i will presume that you're not a genuine no card person right and that you will be voting to against your own better interest and you're not you know because the me 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 cloud, cloud is so bloody selfish anyway you know Look, if any vaxxers are going to come on here, I'm just going to kick his all off. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's freedoms of choice. But cardholders didn't get freedom of choice. Their choices were mandated away in law. All right? People regarding vaccines have that freedom of choice. It's up to them. The only ones that don't have the choices are the ones that genuinely can't have it. And the people who don't want it don't give a damn about those people they're squashed they're lost their voice is lost in the in the noise so paul canazio i think you're a nutbag well then leave get off my page you're not here to stop the cashless debit card you're here to call abuse me in public get off the page all right off you go, Trina. Go as well. If you're going to start abusing me, get off the page. I am sick of people promoting, right, Australia One, Reignite Democracy, Craig Kelly, UAP. Craig Kelly couldn't even have the nouse to wear a bloody mask properly in Parliament. Not abusing me, Paulie, eh? But you called me a nut job. That's abuse. If you're gonna call me a nut job, get off my page. Right, but please don't call me a nut job. I'm not a nut job. I've been standing up here for six years screaming for the voices of people that have had their legal rights removed, mandated under law, that have had their human rights breached for real. Sorry, I can only see what's coming through on my phone, Paulie, and I won't. And, you know, but I, I'm just not going to put up with, I'm abusing everyone else, am I, Trini? No, I'm putting it straight out there that if you come on this page claiming to be against the card, right, and then you're going to vote for people like Craig Kelly and One Nation, then how the hell can you be against the card when you're going to vote for parties that support the card, have voted for the card, and will make sure LNP stay in? Mandatory doesn't mean law. Well, okay. Can you please tell me? <laughs> the cashless debit card is legislated in law. It's a mandatory, compulsory program. Anyway, I just don't understand how somebody can come here and say... We want to stop the card, but we're not going to vote for the party that will stop the card. We're going to vote against that party to make sure that the card doesn't get stopped. That's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Who's we, Trini? I don't know. Do you want me to give up, do you? I'm sure that would make Keith Pitt and Clive Palmer and the LNP very happy. I'm not going to give up, but I'm not going to have people who are voting, right, against the parties that are going to stop the card coming on here, trying to jerry up votes for Reignite Democracy and Craig Kelly and United Australia Party, right? I mean, if you're against the card, you're going to vote for the parties that are against the card, that have voted against the card, not other parties that are going to keep the LNP in. Is that a problem? It's like when I've been at pre-poll and I've had One Nation supporters come up to me and go, I don't support the card. I don't support the card. I was like, well, why are you wearing her T-shirt? And they go, what do you mean? I said, well, she supports the card. 
How could you support one nation when she votes your rights away? And then has the audacity to tell you you have no rights. I don't get it. That's why we had all these little right-wing bloody uh, parties jump up at election time. Remember Fraser Anning's Conservative Party? I had a guy standing next to me. He signed our petition against the card wearing a Fraser Anning's Conservative Party T-shirt. I said, how can you wear his shirt and sign this petition? Or what do you mean? I said he voted for it in the Senate. Thank God he's gone and he's gone to America. All right, we need to get rid of the LNP government. All right? That's what we need to do. ALP have made it very, very clear they will scrap it, repeal the legislation. Okay, is that not good enough for people? Greens will back them up. We know that because in, in the Senate, Greens will vote against the card. <laughs> You know, and we've got Australian progressives who it's part of their policy platform to scrap the card as well. I don't understand why people are, oh, look, whatever. All I know is if you find people, if you find comments are missing, right, because you've put up rubbish about UAP, Craig Kelly, One Nation, Reignite Democracy, One Australia One, and your comments have disappeared, I am not here as a platform to promote those parties that will keep the LNP in power and keep people on the cashless debit card and roll it out to everybody. I've just watched a Keith Pitt live where he laughed when somebody asked the question of age pensioners going on the card. And he laughed. Oh, no, they're not going on the card. And, you know, I found that offensive because in Senate estimates, 25 age pensioners are on the card. 20 of them are as far as I know, are First Nations people. So this dismissive attitude of, oh, we're never going to put the pensioners on the card. We're not going to put the aged pensioners on the card. We just won't talk about the Aboriginal age pensioners that we've already put on the card. We can't see them. All right? I'm sick of the racism in this country. All right? Age pensioners are age pensioners. They have 25 of them on the card right now. 20 of them in Cape York, 5 of them in Kalgoorlie. But according to Keith Pitt, there are no age pensioners. And he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. You know? So, anyway. I'm going to go. Um, I just don't get it. But if you find comments are missing, because we need people that support our cause and support the parties that will stand by the people. Right, and we'll stand by getting rid of this damn card, protecting our Medicare. I want to be able to go to a hospital. I don't want the American system. Right, the, you know, Greg Hunt has already said he wants the insurance-based Americanized healthcare system here. Right, Clive Palmer and all them don't care. They, they don't care. Running around spouting their pseudo-bloody law and this, that and all the other. They just don't care. They're not here to, to help people. They're here to help the LNP. And that's it. You know, Pauline will be there to try and protect her own ass because she just wants $2.60 per vote off of everybody no matter what. And she doesn't vote for, for policies that protect us. Simple as that anyway. I'm sorry I'm too controversial for some people, but my patience has run out with a certain group of the population that keeps popping up trying to promote their parties and agendas, and we're not having it. We're not having it, all right? Either you, you know, you've, because this is just ridiculous. I don't want an American healthcare system. I want NDIS restored to what it should be. Right at the moment, they're busy trying to cut. They're cutting plans off for people that desperately need it, and they're making it too hard for people to get on it. Okay, you know, you can see everywhere across the net all the other stuff that Scott Morrison's lied about and fibbed about. And, I mean, today in the paper or you know on the news there, the people from the bushfires are still living in caravans. 
The four billion dollar bushfire fund has earned a nice tidy sum in interest. Not a penny of it's been used to help the people who lost their bloody homes in the bushfires two years ago now. You know what I mean? Isn't he an embarrassment enough? He doesn't hold a hose. He do, he, do, he can't even lie straight in bed. And now he's trying to defend electric cars when, funnily enough, the deal for, for Hinkler to go on the cash just debit card from Tim Storer was electric cars back in 2019. Right? Funny, eh? Isn't that funny? You know, that was the promise that Tim Storer was made. That, you know, but then the, they came out with the, the electric cars were going to take away the weekend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't handle any more LMP One Nation crap. I really can't. And I definitely don't want another four years of it. Because that means another four years, and I don't know how many more, thousands and thousands and thousands of families are going to be in tents, on the streets, hungry, right? How many youth suicide? The worst. All right? They don't care. It's about time we switched. Labor's not perfect. We know that. But we want to get rid of the card. We want to, we've want we got principal core things that this country need to keep and protect. Social security for one. Right? We need to protect that. And we need to protect Medicare, our healthcare system. And we need to start with more public housing. I'm not going to get that out of the LNP or One Nation. No way. Or oh, Craig Kelly. They're not going to build new houses. God. They're there for oil and mining and fracking. That's all. They they want the the sign off from the LNP government to continue just burning this place to the ground. You know, go and look at the policies that they voted against in regards to protecting the land, the air, the water, the sea, the animals, the fish, and you and me. You know what I mean? Go and have a look. It's horrendous. Then people might realise. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll 